Cinegear 2010 coverage. Brought to you by dvculture.com. All right. Hey, my name is Michael Cioni. I am uh, the CEO of a company called Light Iron Digital. And what we do is basically file-based post-production. In two forms of that, one, we have a cart here, which is what we bring onto movie sets when we do file-based acquisition. So files are actually downloaded, they're backed up to LTO, they're saved on RAID 5, they're transferred to shuttle drives for editorial, and they're compressed to like Avid or uh, QuickTime Movies for Final Cut for editing and things like that. We do the syncing, and then we do all the processing into a compressed format like H.264, in which we can then actually put it on an iPad. So in the form of an iPad, you actually can deliver 1280 by 720p video to the iPad on the same day that it was shot. So most people leave the set actually watching what they shot on the same day, which is a really cool thing because it enables people to actually get to evaluate what's been going on on the set uh, without the delay of traditional film or tape overnight transferring and things like that. The other thing we do is um, uh, full quality color correction. So the color correction we do is 2K or 4K. It's going to be hard to tell on the online right here, but this is actually a 4K monitor. In fact, if I go, I'll go to a shot that might show tremendous resolution here. Hopefully you guys will be able to pick it up at home, but this is basically a 4K monitor that's a 4K uh, panel that plays back uh, 2K and 4K pictures at one-to-one -one pixels. So this is a huge resolution. And whether or not you're doing this on set or in post-production in a lab, we can actually grade images up to 4K in real time with you know color corrections and secondaries and windows. So the future is very bright for file-based fans because the power and the speed and the process and the democratization of these tools is really improving everybody's ability to get their hands on it and make some pretty pictures in the process. Check out dvculture.com for further coverage.